guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I'm doing another collection video. Now, before we take a look at the collection, I want to ramble on about something. Um, now, back in, I think it was January, I did a collection video. Now, you're probably thinking, uh, isn't that a little too soon to do another one? Well, I'm actually moving into a different place, so everything is going to be changed. So, I kind of want to do a uh, last look at my entire collection on the shelf, at least. Uh, what it's got right now. Um, by the time you see this video, it's probably already moved into the new place. Um, and uh, I, I'm also going to say that it, it looks a little crowded. Um, I have another shelf for them, so it won't overflow like it is right now. And um, some of the toys I just kind of mushed onto the shelf, like my Power of the Primes is up there because there's a, a gap right there of nothingness, so I just figured I might as well just Try and put them there, I guess. Um, so yeah, and, and the lighting might be a little bad. I do apologize for that. But before we take a look at this stuff, I need to take a look at my smaller shelf. All right, so I'm moving the camera while I'm also trying to adjust the lighting. I, I got two things in my hand and it's really hard, but uh, we're going to take a look at this. Um, up here, I'll try to describe what you can't see, but there is a Silver Streak and an Optimus Prime from Alternators. Uh, as well as a whole bunch of one steps, a lot of them thank you to TFA 1024. Uh, we've got a Masterpiece Sideswipe and Shockwave. We have a KO Silver Streak, an MP Optimus Prime, thanks to Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer, and a Masterpiece Movie Bumblebee. Uh, down here we've got that giant Shockwave uh, third party thing that's meant to be a ship. Um, it's kind of broken, but still looks cool. A uh, bunch of other third-party stuff. We've got a custom DevCon by uh, Xavier Cal. Um, we also have a Leader Grimlock, Leader Sentinel Prime, uh, Leader Overlord in the back, Leader Optimus Prime, another Leader Optimus Prime, Six Shot, uh, Combiner Wars Starscream, uh, Megatron, Jetfire, and Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. All right, now for all this, I will go from top to bottom. All right, I apologize for the lighting, but here's a bunch of Creos. I'm not going to name every single one of them, uh, just from what you can see. It is pretty much the same as last time, I will say that. Um, because I, I don't remember getting any more Creos lately. They haven't really been doing anything. Except for one, which is the Bell Changer, which is actually on the bottom shelf. Uh, there's a whole bunch of the, uh, the Creons that are meant to look like gladiators and whatnot. Uh, in the back, you can see some of uh, the Rescue Heroes things. I believe there's a Galvatron, Optimus Prime, uh, might be an Optimal Optimus. There's a Bumblebee, Soundwave, Megatron. Uh, there's a Ravage that I forgot to put on the shelf, but I've had for the longest time, as well as a What's a Prime kind of cardboard thing that I decided to make. Um, the Transformers Universe, sorry for the blurred camera, come on. Focused, there we go. Transformers uh, Universe figure, I forget what it is, Under Undermine, I think. Uh, Studio Series Stinger, Thundercracker, Starscream, Optimus Prime, as well as my Power of the Primes generations that I just kind of threw up there. Also my uh, little uh, rubbery shockwave. But uh, over there in the back, there's a Hunger, uh, Grimlock, Starscream, there's also a Ripper Snapper, Snarl, um, Dreadwind and Blackwing, and then every one uh, of the deluxes you can see on the front, I'm not going to name off. A uh, bunch of Legends, Slash, Wind Charger, uh, Battle Trap, uh, so Battle Slash and Road Trap, uh, as well there's a Beachcomber in the back, and then Wave 1 and Wave 2 of the Transformers Prime Prime Masters, or Power of the Primes Prime Masters, I should say. All right, so the generation stuff as well, we got a couple of other things, we've got uh, these whatever they're called, I, I don't even remember. Uh, we got a bunch of Q Transformers, a couple of them sent by uh, Ultra Maximus on YouTube. And then of course we've got Minicons! Yay, Minicons, they're pretty cool. Um, we have the Legends Ravage and Rumble from the War for Cybertron game. Speaking of War for Cybertron, I'm not sure how well the lighting is going, uh, but there's a Jazz, Ultra Magnus, Starscream, a War for Cybertron Soundwave, uh, Cliff Jumper, Optimus Prime from War for Cybertron, Megatron, Sound Blaster, uh, Grimlock, and a complete Bruticus. Um, and I have to thank the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer for helping me complete that with the weapons. 
as well it's also got a Boosticus set. We also have some Universe Classics figures. We've got Sunstreaker, Acid Storm, uh, a beat up Silver Streak, a beat up Ironhide. Uh, we've also got a couple of Voyagers in the back. I don't remember all of their names. There's a Blaster, um, but I, I forget what, Heavy Tread or something like that. And then the Jet. I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, oh, and there's also a Cyclonus. There's the um, Over Overkill figure. Uh, and then there's the Optimus Prime and Megatron 2 pack. As well, I also have the Optimus Prime and the Bumblebee that came with the Age of Extinction packs. There's also in the back, I don't know if you can see that too well, a GDO Cliff Jumper repaint from the first edition, and a whole bunch of other generations figures. We've got Drift, Skullgrin, Thundercracker, Wheeljack, Warpath, uh, Cup. We have a Classics Bumblebee that I forgot to mention in the back. Um, and I thought it had a lot more than that. Huh? Oh well. Uh, we also have a Universe Classics Onslaught uh, just poking out there in the back. Um, and for Reveal the Shields, it's really hard to make out. But there is a Frenzy, there is a Rumble from the Takara lineup, there is a Wind Charger, which you can just see in the shadows right there. There's also a Trail Cutter Legends figure, as well as a uh, Legends Warpath from the Universe Classics. Um, we also have a Repaint Backstop for the Generations line. And for the Deluxes, uh, there's a Mindset, Trax, Perceptor, uh, Laser Optimus Prime, Special Ops Jazz, Grapple, and Lugnut. So yeah, a bunch of stuff, and it only continues on from that. Uh, this one should be a little bit easier to find out. A uh, whole bunch of Legends class figures, which is awesome. Legends is uh, my favorite lineup of the Generations toy line even though they're pretty much done with Legends class, I believe. Uh, there's a Sea Spray and Brawn, um, and whatnot. There's also in the back here, a uh, Loudmouth, Ramhorn, Ape Face, and Brawn. For Deluxes, we've got the Warfare Cybertron style Thundercracker and Skywarp. We have Generations Rat Trap, uh, Crosscut, J-Axis, or whatever his name is, Windblade, Armada Starscream, Orion Pax, Dreadwing, uh, Hoist, the Minicon 3-pack that combines to form some other character, Scoop, Nightbeat, and Tankor. Um, so a whole bunch of deluxes. Uh, we have also got a bunch of Voyagers you can't really see in the back. I'm sorry for tilting the camera. I'm trying to focus on a whole bunch of other things. Uh, we got Sandstorm, Springer, uh, there's Double Dealer, uh, Rhinox, Whirl, and Roadbuster. Now, you may have noticed I skipped out on the Titan Ma uh, Titans Returns and Combiner Wars. Well, let's get to that. Combiner Wars, we got Hound, and we've got the Deluxe Class Groove. And um, as far as the other Deluxes, uh, for Titans Returns, we've got Brainstorm, thanks to Larry Arts Production for sending that out. Uh, we've got Chrome Dome, Highbrow, uh, we've got Blur, uh, we've got Hardhead, which I almost forgot. Uh, Skull Smasher, whatever his name is, Wolfire or Weird Wolf, uh, Mind Wipe, Trigger Happy, Hot Rod Scourge, um, Quake, Top Spin Twin Twist, which uh, I was really hoping they do both and was really hoping to get. Um, we also have Windblade and Misfire. For the Voyagers in the back, we've got Optimus Prime. Uh, we've got um, from the uh, Combiner Wars lineup. We've also got Cyclonus. I have a lot more from Combiner Wars, but uh, they're uh, pretty much combined. Uh, or a leader class on the other shelf. Um, but uh, Titans Returns, Sentinel Prime, Alpha Trion. Um, did I say Broadside? Uh, we also have Octane Blitzwing and Astro Train. All right, now for Transformers Prime. This is uh, pretty much my uh, toy line. I love Transformers Prime, it's so great. But before we get to that, this pretty much just, I, I guess, adds to it. Uh, I've got a lot of the customs, I got the first edition stuff, as well I've got the uh, the tiny turbos, which are pretty cool, I like them. Uh, we also have the alt modes just poking out in the back, they kind of suck. We've got a couple of those car transformers uh, that don't really transform from uh, some other company, I can't remember what they're called, but that came from the DVD pack. Um, we also have my customs right here. My customs. We also have Overclock from JP, uh, J Poozer Animations. Um, but, uh, these are all cardboard stuff. I've got, uh, hiding in there, uh, a Rat Bat, Sunder, and Stripes, as well as the sword and arm for the Megatron that can pretty much just slide on. 
Uh, we have Rack and Ruin. We have Countdown poking out right there, which that's his ship. Uh, we have Pipes. We have uh, Obsidian. Red Alert Slipstream, based on the Galvatron Rising show. And then this is not connected to Transformers Prime. This is just my Galvatron for uh, my series. And then we've also got the first editions. We've got Bumblebee RC, uh, Starscream, Viacon, Cliff Jumper is sneaking in there. And then we've also got a um, Cliff Jumper in the box. Because funny enough, I bought the Cliff Jumper in box uh, prepared to open it uh, for a video, maybe, or something. But uh, I just haven't had the best luck finding Cliff Jumper. And that the same day, I found a first edition Cliff Jumper already open for like five bucks. So. Now I've got one in package and one out of package. Also, I forgot to mention, I have uh, in package on the other shelf a Tuner Skids from Hunt for the Decepticons, Dark of the Moon, Deluxe Class Starscream, and uh, thanks to Larry Arts Production, the Optimus Prime uh, Cyberverse figure that came with the glasses. Now we get into the real good stuff. Okay, here we go. We've got the Bumblebee Starscream 2-pack. We have a whole bunch of arms microns. We've got one for Bumblebee. RC and Megatron, as well as a couple of the animal ones. We have a Dark Star Saber setup. I guess it's the Dark Star Saber. But you can also see a lot of Takara stuff. This is uh, the collection I have the most for uh, Takara, I guess. Um, but we have a Cliff Jumper Terracon. We have a Knockout behind the other Knockout. I know it seems weird having two Knockouts, but there's a reason. Uh, the one's the Arms Micron one. Uh, one of these Viacons is the car Viacon that came with the arms of Micron, so it's the Japan one. We also have the Jet Viacon in black. We also have, sneaking in the back, Wild Rider and the Red Rumble. We also have the Nightmare Unicron and Silas Breakdown behind the Optimus Prime. I do apologize for the bad lighting and bad show. But as I said, a lot of it's crammed and it, it, I'm getting another shelf to really help out. Uh, anyways, continuing on, uh, we've got the Robots in Disguise Prime stuff, and I'm not talking about Robots in Disguise, I'm talking about Prime Robots in Disguise. Um, oh, and uh, hiding behind there is the uh, Cyberverse, Starscream, Breakdown, and Bumblebee, but you can't really see them. Um, so, we got Deluxe, Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, and uh, Soundwave, thanks to Drumming the Blues. Oh, no, wait, the, he sent me the wheel check, not the Cliff Jumper. Um, but thank you, Drumming the Blues. Oh, and we also have in Arms Micron Skywarp. I forgot to mention that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We got RC and Ratchet. We've got Hotshot. Three other Viacons in the back that are just the regular Prime one. And then, of course, the Knockout, as mentioned earlier. We have Dead End, Arachnid, uh, Rumble, and Cup. And then we have the Voyagers in the back. We have Optimus Prime, Megatron, Skyquake, Dreadwing. Uh, Ultra Magnus and Thunder Wing, or Thundertron, whatever his name is. For the Beast Hunter shelf, you may have noticed that uh, that's not Beast Hunter's figure. Well, I just didn't really have room for the Shockwave, so I just threw it in there. Um, but we also have some Robots in the Sky stuff as well on this. Uh, but we have the Cyberverse figures. I'm not going to pick through every single one of them. Uh, I do have the full Abominus. There's an Arachnid in the back. And whatnot. That Bumblebee came from a two-pack. It's incomplete because it doesn't come with the other figure. And then there's the uh, Commanders. Uh, for the Deluxes, I'll do mostly the same. So you can just kind of tell what everything is. There's an RC Vertebrae and Knockout. I'm not sure if you can see. There's also a Prowl, uh, Skylynx, and Skystalker. Uh, for the Voyagers, I have pretty much the majority of... Um, well, actually, I have all of the Wave 1 to, I think it's four Voyager class figures, uh, as well as a Dark Steel. And then over here, we've got the Predaking and Optimus Prime. Those are the big ones. Now, after that, we got to take a look at Robots in Disguise. The first thing I have is Fix It. And then Warrior class figures, I'm going to start with the Takara. That's a Takara Jazz with a more accurate paint scheme. And that is a Silver Viacon. And my arm is hurting. I'm sorry, I got it. I gotta adjust that. Ow! I hit the camera with the lamp. That's not good. <laughs> Anyways, professional, right? Um, so, continuing on with Robots in Disguise, all of Wave 1, Bumblebee, Strongarm, Grimlock, uh, Steeljaw, uh, all of Wave 2, Drift, thanks to uh, Mighty Mouse 74, Optimus Prime, 
Uh, wave 3, technically, with Sideswipe and Jazz, but it's the Takara Jazz. I don't have Wave 4. Uh, let's see, Wave 1 of the following year, I have Mechatronus, uh, the Blizzard Strike Optimus, and the um, Fracture. I'm sorry, my pinky hurts right now. Ah, I need to get that out. Ah, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, and then the following wave, I got Coal Fire and Thunderhoof. The following wave, I believe, was um, Windblade, Optimus, and um, Scorpnock, but I never got the Optimus Prime. I got the other two. Um, the following wave is Bisque, Ratchet, and Sky Spike. I have all three of those. Uh, the following wave was uh, Drift, Blast Wave, and Storm Shot. I have all three. And I also have the Paralon. And the Starscream, thanks to Chris Vellner, which I do plan on reviewing. I was actually in the middle of writing it. Uh, we have the uh, Skywarp, uh, Soundwave, and Windblade in the back. I don't have the blur. And then the last wave of robots in Disguise Warrior class figures, I have the complete set. Thunder, um, not Thunderhoof, um, Thermidor, Bludgeon, and Twinferno. So that's pretty much it for that entire shelf. That's a lot. Let's move on. So this is the movie shelf, and this is incredibly crowded. So I'll try to show you as best as I can what I've got. Uh, we've got the um, Strong Arm Bumblebee pack, although the Strong Arm's kind of messed up, so there's not much I can do about that. We've got a couple of scouts on the, uh, the front. We have the uh, two protoform figures. We've got the uh, grind core. We've got the... Um, Platinum Edition Jazz, we've got an Overcast, Dropkick, Grindor, Allspark version Barricade, that's kind of messed up. There is in the back a um, Blazemaster, the Desert Tracker Ratchet, Mindwipe, uh, Bludgeon, a Recon Ironhide, Ramjet, Thrust, and Dirge, I had to put all three of them together. Uh, the Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave, Revenge of the Fallen Rampage. The Deluxe Ratchet, Hunt for the Septicons Bumblebee, thanks to Chris Vellner, also thanks for the uh, Breacher figure. Uh, Brawn, there is the Repaint of Dirge, that uh, I think it's Jet Blade, Dead End, Tuner Mudflap and Tuner Skids, Chromia, uh, Payload, Jolt, uh, Sidearm Sideswipe, Hailstorm, Dark of the Moon Jolt, Dark of the Moon Barricade, the Bone Crusher, Fury of Bone Crusher 2-pack with uh, Ironhide and Bone Crusher. Sorry, just adjusting the camera. Um, we also have Sea Spray in the back, Alita 1. Uh, the stupid uh, Daredevil Squad Bumblebee that I really hate. The entire Wave 1 of the Human Alliance Scout class figures. And I think Dark of the Moon Sideswipe is in the back there. If there is something I miss, I do apologize for that. Uh, it's just a lot to talk about and a lot to take in. Uh, moving on to this shelf, we've got the Dark of the Moon uh, Roadbuster, Starscream Thundercracker, Nitro Bumblebee, uh, Skids Mudflap, uh, Crankstart, or whatever he's called. Um, I think that's his name? No, it's not his name. It's not Crankstart. Crankstart's that little guy. What's his name? Um, Crankcase. Uh, Cyberverse uh, Dreads, uh, Megatron Optimus Prime, Ironhide's behind there, Sideswipe. Uh, and then there's these three from Age of Extinction. Those two uh, came from a three-pack with Strafe, thanks to uh, Mike Mouse 74 Thank you to Super Z-Man85 for the evac. A custom Toxitron that I did, uh, which reminds me, I gotta do a video on that. Dark of the Moon Megatron, Shockwave, uh, the Red Ironhide, and then the Optimus Prime and Commodore 2-pack. Human Alliance Bumblebee. Oh, and there's also the Top Spin. Uh, Skids is in the back, Roadbuster, and Leadfoot. Uh, oh, and Laserbeak is right there, too. Uh, Age of Extinction, we've got Slash, uh, Snarl, uh, Scorn. Both versions of Bumblebee are in the back. The one came with the Legends Bumblebee. Uh, two Drifts, because one was sent by Mike Mouse 74 because the first one I had was uh, pretty much busted up. We also got Slug, Lockdown, uh, Slog, uh, Drift. And two different versions of the Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. One came from the 2-pack with the Leader Class figure. Uh, back there, you can't really see it, but there is a Crosshairs and Hotshot from Age of Extinction. Uh, so if there's something I missed, I do apologize for that. I'm sorry for constantly moving the camera away. It's really hard to do this. Uh, for the last night, we've got Barricade, the Accurate Bumblebee, um, Hot Rod, uh, Cogman, We've got Optimus Prime, Megatron, Berserker, Steelbane, Drift, 
the Dragon Storm 2 pack, Infernicus is back there, Hound, uh, Nitro, and Scorn. So I do apologize that I can't really show you every single thing because it's so hard, but uh, that is pretty much it for that shelf. Now, before we take a look at what's on the last shelf, we gotta take a look at what's on the floor right now because uh, again, everything is just overflowing. We've got an incomplete Primus. Yeah, it's missing the feet and a whole bunch of stuff, but it was super cheap. Uh, we've got the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime. We've got the Hunt for the Septicons Leader Class Starscream. We've got Jetfire. Shadow Command Megatron. I also decided to put the Grimlock right here. We've got Nemesis Prime who's standing on top of his third party trailer. We've got the Hot Rod slash Rodimus Prime setup. We've got a Gold Battle Ops Bumblebee that is missing a door because it's broken. I apologize for that. Devastator, you can't hide. We've also got Menasaur, Superion, uh, let's see, the, um, Defensor, I almost forgot his name. We've also got the Balcor Optimus Prime setup and uh, Bruticus. And of course, all the figures that come with them. And then Unicron is right here. Oh my goodness, what's behind him? Oh, it's Fortress Maximus looking a little shadowy. That's kind of scary, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. Let's go ahead and move these out of the way. And then actually focus on what's behind them. Okay. All right. So this is the random shelf. We got a whole bunch of other movie figures. We've got a bunch of scout class. Um, we have a clocker. There is a breakdown, a sonar, and whatnot. Uh, a couple of legends class figures. There's barricade and ratchet. The um, uh, override and long haul are from uh, Chris Vellner. And I do apologize if I forget people's names and what they send me. I I, I am sorry. Uh, but there is a Starscream, apparently that's a KO, thanks to, uh, Rise Bell. Uh, we also have the, um, what is it, the Smolder, Huffer, and, uh, Ice Pick Power Core Combiners. We also have, uh, the actual Combiners themselves. Uh, Bumblebee, uh, Custom Larry, uh, thanks to Larry Arts Production. Uh, we got Rekgar, Camshaft, Incinerator, Stockade, uh, the Human Lines Bumblebee, uh, crankcase, and then we also got the, uh, what is it, the dive bomb, that little crappy figure. Uh, we have animated lockdown, oil slick, and Optimus Prime, the Cybertronian version. We've got Shockwave and Skywarp. Uh, we have my two Armada figures, Sideswipe and Demolisher. A bunch of Cybertron figures, Evac, Mudflap, Crumple Zone, Vector Prime in the brown color for some reason, Wing Saber. Uh, let's see, Longarm, I think his name is, uh, Hotshot, Blur, Runamuck, and a whole bunch of Scouts, uh, Hightail, I think his name is, Breakdown, um, what, what is his name, what is, what is this guy's name, what, what is your name, I don't remember, what is your name, Crumple Zone and Ransack, there we go, uh, Scrap Metal, uh, Armor Hide, and Recluse. Moving on, we've got a couple of R.D. figures. One of them is uh, apparently knocked off his feet, but whatever. It'll be fine. Uh, Prowl, X-Brawn, uh, uh, what is his name? Sideburn, as well as a red Sideburn in the back. Uh, we've got the McDonald's Megatron, thanks to Larry Arts Production. A whole bunch of Creo Battle Changers, the Optimus Primes, both of them. Bumblebee, Megatron, Starscream, Ratchet, Grimlock, and Soundwave. This Optimus Prime came with the trailer. And we also have Shockwave, thanks to Ultra Maximus on YouTube. I also have to thank him for the Sentinel Prime and other various figures. Um, we also have the uh, Ramjet um, Dirge and Thrust 3-pack uh, from the uh, Platinum Edition series. There's a Ricochet in the back there, a reissue, a G1 Optimus Prime that has seen better days, Creo Megatron in the big form for whatever reason. Uh, we also have a Pipes, Warpath, uh, Messed Up, uh, I think that's Wingspan, Dead End, uh, Swindle, also a KO set of these, um, what are they, Micro Changers, that's not even a Transformer, I just put it in with the rest of the figures, a Quake Wave, which might be a KO, some McDonald's Fry thing from, um, Chris Vellner, thank you so much, Aaron John Shock Blast, Aaron John Scorpnock, uh, then we've also got a Cybertron Optimus Prime right there. 
Uh, I'm just trying to think of anything else. Oh yeah, that KO Devastator. Yeah, that thing. Uh, and then we've also got a couple of bot shots right here. Uh, one of them is the Deep Desert Brawl. And then a bunch of Construct Bots, Starscream, Ironhide, Thundercracker, Bumblebee, Breakdown, uh, Silverbolt, Wheeljack, Dead End, Grimlock, with a little Optimus Prime, and Scorn. And then last but not least for my shelf is the Barricade Hero Battlemasters. Battle Masters. Oh, and those custom squeaks that I made, I forgot about that. So as I said... Um, I pretty much did this video because everything's being moved. I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for the, uh, the, the messed up look. I, I'm sorry for the lack of focus. Um, I, I'm pretty sure at some point I was like, hey, look at this. And then the camera was going like that. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, I, I've just had a long day. There's been a lot going on right now. So I apologize for it, but at least I wanted to get this video going just so that you guys can see how it is before I move. Um, so without the way, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudes, and I'll see you guys in the next